There's a new version of Custom Shaders patch that brings a new tire model into a set of Corsa as well as a revamped rain effects system. In some ways, no matter how a set of Corsa drives changes significantly, but this also paves the way for a more revolutionary tire system in AC. With the help of Jackson Papa George from IER modding, the tires are now taking more into account. They will take the information from the car's physics like contact point and tilt. In theory, this should open up the door for more informative and realistic ways to feel the car. For those who have the paid version of Custom Shaders patch, the other massive update is the Rain FX revamp. This time, Ilya went to rewrite how the water pooled in the track surface, so there's a new puddle generation system and rain logic. In the controller, the wetness and water controls are now inverted. Wetness controls water depth and water controls the puddles. The way that puddles and standing water in the wetness works right now is that increasing the value on the wetness to above 20 or 30% results in very difficult driving conditions, made easier if you subscribe to the channel. I've tried this new patch with and without the experimental physics style. In the dry driving, the experience isn't really felt much. To be honest, I couldn't feel any relevant difference in the dry driving. At the very most, the car is more controllable over the curbs and maybe a little more throwable into the corner with a better oversteer control. But anyways, this could be very well be placebo effect. Of course, the changes you probably came here to listen and learn about are about the rain effects, and in that case, the difference is absolutely massive. First of all, in all cars that I've tried, experimental physics need to be on, otherwise you won't see any difference in the driving. The amount of wetness in the track will determine the amount of grip the car has, like in real life. Anything above 30% in the wetness toggle becomes a serious problem to control. But let's start at the lower end. From very low numbers to around 10%, it is your typical rain driving. We do get a looser rear, less grip, a more fun car, depending on what you take and how you drive. Increasing the values from 10 to around 20, it's about the area where rear-wheel driven cars and all-wheel drive cars can become serious drift machines. The grip is noticeably reduced with longer braking areas and the lateral grip is diminished severely. With the push of the handbrake, yeah, that means drifting is made easier at lower speed and actually quite fun. It's really good to train on. Bringing the values to over 30% is when the driving starts to become impossible. There is no grip in the tire, whether that be longitudinally or laterally. So going over 40 kilometers an hour will give you absolute zero grip. That means no grip to keep a corner or to brake or to accelerate. The aquaplaning becomes even worse as the values go up to 100% and here it is basically at this extreme where work is needed in this Assetto Corsa range system. The potential is absolutely there, but it seems like there is no relationship between that amount of water in real life and what is seen here in this mod. The rain effects won't affect you, the player only, it also affects the AI, but they have somewhat of a strange reaction to the rain. Some of them fly through it with no problems whatsoever, while others will react not very differently from the player and even crash in the same way as you're gonna crash. It was quite interesting to see the difference between cars if you bring this rain effects model into the Assetto Corsa with AI. Nordschleife became quite a minefield with cars just zooming by with no problem whatsoever and others just crashing in front of you. Still, there is a lot of work needed for this new version of rain effects. In my system, it is taking a bigger toll than the older version and the reaction has been mixed in the performance department. Some say it will deal you a better result, others worse. It is likely then that the performance is related with the settings, so it's gonna take a while until we discover which settings are good for you and which settings you need to take off. And speaking of settings, Extra FX now works with triple screens. There is a tick box for it. That means you can use ambient occlusion and blur effects in a set of course a triple screen now, but because it's triple screens and because extra effects also has a huge toll in a set of course in single screen, you're gonna have also a big one when you're using on triples. This is an interesting update as it lays the foundation for possibly a more comprehensive and advanced tire model for a set of Corsa. 
let us know in the comments box what you thought about the driving in the physics. And speaking of physics, check this comparison between Competizione and Gran Turismo 7. It is really interesting.